Yesterday, the colony suffered not only its greatest losses yet, but also its greatest victory. The Pharaoh's hubris quickly proved that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. The same soldiers that Jerry thought were unstoppable, the same soldiers that were able to effortlessly dispatch the desert terrors, were in turn effortlessly dispatched. But just when we thought all was lost, the Pharaoh himself, the madman Jerry King, came steaming across the horizon and killed not only a few of the mighty sand prowlers that wiped out half this colony, but he took out every single one of them. Five times what his troops could. An imperial scientist turned con artist ended up being a hero. I'm a little bit concerned about that rattlesnake. <laughs> he ended up being a hero. And now the question becomes, is he? Is he chosen by the gods? Is he the blessed pharaoh of these sands? And is his tiny, weird little son Wes actually dragonborn? Maybe there was a reason he had two heads. We'll, we'll find out later. We got a lot of people to bury. <laughs> we got a lot of graves to dig frantically. Now, we did finish the research into crematoriums yesterday after the undead rose out of the ocean and uh, declared vengeance against us. But I think these people deserve more than just being thrown into a crematorium. I am gonna build a crematorium though, because I'm kind of sick of these mummies climbing out of the ocean and stealing my megaliths. These six heroes who laid down their lives, one of whom was Jerry King's lover, mother of Wes, the toddler, he grows. They deserve a hero's burial. They deserve their bodies to be interred somewhere. Perhaps we build a second smaller pyramid, much as they did in ancient Egypt, and we've put their bodies in there. I think they deserve it. Hang on a second, though. We don't have regular sarcophagus. We only have the pharaoh sarcophagus. And they weren't pharaohs. Sure, they are our honor dead. We're giving them their own pyramid, but that's that's reserved exclusively for the pharaoh. What? I didn't even know you needed research for sarcophagus. Uh, sarcophagus is complex furniture. Really? That's an entire era beyond where our, our city lies. And we need to get all of that early era research first. You know what? This is the only generation that deserves this. But they will gain the greatest of coffins in honor of their sacrifice. Without them, there would be no colony. They were pharaohs in our hearts. And I think that it's only fair that Jerry King's lover and the mother of all future pharaohs gets her own sapphire sarcophagus. We've just got to wait for Braytech to get back up, which, to be honest, might be quite a long time, given that he lost an arm and a foot in that whole thing. Oh, Jerry's having a conversation with his lovely tiny pharaoh-to-be. Seven melee. Seven melee. Double passion. You're a baby. Christ almighty, I should have given you a sword and put you out there. You were better than half these people who died. Horn's back up. Timo's back up. Excellent news. Legendary Timo from the blessed Struka dynasty. The royal guards of this colony, effectively. They, they saved little unborn Wes. Ah, oh, Davison's resistance has been broken. That'll make up for our lost numbers very slightly. Ah, oh, there you go. We must have broken his resistance first then. Davison, my friend, welcome to the colony. What are you good at? Plants, animals, cat person. Again, very appropriate. Steadfast eccentric ecologist. And another conversion from the legendary Jerry. Wow, it's almost like he was completely designed for this exact thing. <laughs> now, who's sad? Who's sad? Because we can blast them with those psychic powers. Horn. Horn, the pharaoh will bless you. You are the survivors of this great battle. You deserve true happiness. He's walking away from the Pharaoh's gifts. Did it Did it work? It worked. It's given him plus 40. Um, he is still below zero. <laughs> Man, the, the whole colony was really close friends then. Ooh, baby Wes. What the fuck are you doing in the hot spring, baby Wes? Ah, oh, shit. Jerry, 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 Jerry. Jerry, 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 Jerry. No. Jerry. Jerry. Oh my god. He lost an arm. He lost an arm. Poor sweet baby Wes. First your second head and now your arm. <laughs> oh shit. Who could have predicted that leaving a baby unattended in a hot spring might have serious consequences? <laughs> That could have been a disaster. No! What are you talking about? No! <laughs> I was gonna do this bit where Jerry announces to the people that his son fought off a rattlesnake at the age of baby, and instead he starts talking about fucking sex bots! What is the chance of that happening? <laughs> I 
I am in awe. I feel like one of the modders is fucking with me and it's adjusted something in the background. Uh, harvesting my Steam ID and putting that out there. What are you doing? There's something, something, my son ripped the arm off of a... Uh, no, my son did a lot... Fuck. I don't, I don't know. I, I just don't even know how that's possible. <laughs> but I'm bewildered. An inspiring speech. Yeah, no shit. I just, I cannot believe it. Marte is up. On the plus side, Marte is up. Marte is our builder, so honestly, that's fine. Um, no. Lost both their arms and a leg. Well, there's only one thing for it. We, we've researched crude limbs. And we give wooden limbs to the robot. Which honestly might be one of my favorite concepts we've ever had in RimWorld. Jerry embraces the god Pharaohdom, starts believing his own lie, well, assuming it was a lie. But all of what gave him his power in the first place is falling apart. He's got to repair his robots with the, with the wood of the cactuses of the Nile. Yes, I've given up calling it the Nile. Because people thought I was saying the Nile when I was saying the denial, as in the word denial. We're not doing it anymore. Between denial and the sex bots, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> it's a fantastic band name. Just can't, just can't do it anymore. How long's that pyramid go? <laughs> it's going well then, huh? Wooden robots building the pyramids is uh, an incredible aesthetic. It might be the best we've ever had. Ooh. Or we go for artificial limbs. Somebody asked why I didn't, uh, why I didn't uh, preserve the meat because we don't have freaking preservation, you fool. I rerolled it because we've got more important stuff, and honestly, I think passive cooling is probably that. Because if we get a heat wave, all of our people are going to barbecue unless they hide in the in the fridge. Where do we craft the limbs is probably a better question. Uh, have we got anything? What, what is this one? We've got a cooking table and we've got a workbench. Oh, crafting spot does it. Oh, well, there's so much at the crafting spot. So we need a couple of um, iron arm. A highly ineffective replacement for a missing arm. I mean, we don't have a choice, though. Let's go two iron arms. What is a magician's stuff? And more importantly, look at how comedic it looks. Oh. And with all of this fantastic here root brought to us by our legendary river, I think we're set. I think we've got all the things we need. Well, we might get our herbal medicine for free, but it turns out we've actually got to turn it into medicine. It doesn't just come off the plant ready to go bandaged up, bizarrely enough. Take my tea, my friend. It's a great day to be you. I mean, except for the fact that you are in <laughs> pieces right now. <laughs> a left leg, and then you're missing both arms. So let's just go ahead and throw a couple of those. I didn't even check what the... I mean, we don't have a choice, right? But I didn't check what the uh, manipulation gain was from that. Uh, doctor? Dr. Lowe. Dr. Lowe, you are needed in the ER. Oh, God. Don't butcher this. Oh, fucking hell. I'll just take my tea not being through enough. <laughs> we, we, we've sent a human being to operate on a robot using wood who's never seen a robot before. I mean, it's not going to work, is it? Shit. Um, give it another go? Are we out of medicine? Is that what you're telling me? Oh my god. We're gonna have to get someone to build a lamp. I mean, braytech has got eight construction, so surely you can manage just a lamp. Come on, you've gotta help Marte. He can't take many more failed surgeries. I think you might end up killing him. <gasps> it, it did work. It turns out trying to operate on a robot using wood in pitch black darkness when you never even heard of a robot before it is quite difficult, huh? Let's very rapidly throw together another arm. Maybe one day we'll get these people buried. Take Marte, here you go, my friend. Just suffering. Still suffering from that same bloody raid. Uh, well, I was about to ask which shoulder, but it really does not matter. Here we go. No! What is wrong with you? Please. There is so much to build and nobody to build it. Besides, I, I don't think it's possible. I just don't think it, it it's going to work no matter how many attempts we make. Maybe maybe it's uh, it's an incompatible bionic. The corpses have gone rotten before we've been able to glue a single arm onto a robot. This shouldn't be this difficult. The amount of resources I've spent throwing arms at. Oh. 60% efficiency, I'm not gonna lie, is much better than I thought. Do we have enough resources for a second one? We do. Uh, how, how much steel have we got left at this stage? 257. We've got enough for five more attempts. What the f fuck? Well, firstly, get off the table, baby Strooker, you idiot. Where did you get pancakes? <laughs> I 
And of course, we did all of that yesterday for this legendary Kopesh, the Gift of Ra, a sword that fell from the heavens. They don't need to know that Jerry communicated with the trade ship via his robots. Timo, that is for you, my friend. A gift to you from the gods for defending Jerry. There is also this gun. Jerry's going to pretend he doesn't know what it is for the timing. Oh, Tech Prince. Oh, shit. Better use that up fast. Otherwise, they might ask questions. You need to be as smart as Pharaoh Jerry to read that. It's some sort of magical book, you see. No, 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 no. Matea's back up. A pack of men hun man hunting feralisks. Oh, shit. Bray Tech, this one might be entirely down to you, my friend. Uh, Davidson, let's get you some armor and some weapons. Oh, God, here they come. Okay, little Bray Tech. Good luck. Oh, man, these are really tanky, though, aren't they? Yep, and they fire webs. Oh, shit, he's killed one. Legendary behavior. Come on, start moving, start moving. Uh, no, 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 I don't like that. Stop firing. Oh, shit. Timo. Timo, show us that you were worthy of that gift from Ra. Nice. Don't shoot Timo. Timo. Legendary behavior. The feral has got him in the foot, but he's doing okay. What a, what a, what a guy. We need to craft you like some plasteel gear as well, I think. You've, you've really earned your place as colony guard. A new recruit in the form of Daniels, and apparently we've built some masterwork something. Is that a masterwork arm? Are you ready to join Pharaoh's Domain, Daniels? Daniels, what are you good at? Plant skill. I'm more than happy to see plant skill. That way we can get these two new recruits harvesting all of that food from around the Nile. They've already begun the burials. And Tecmate, oh, come on. You had 29 work left. Well, this will improve colony moods massively. Don't bury that person in there. That's for Avila. There goes little Chris. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you. Welcome to the Tomb of the Heroes. And now it's just Avila herself. Let Jerry do the honors. In the jeweled sarcophagus of the heroes lies Avila. I realize we built one coffin too many. Maybe Timo can have that one. Obviously, not everybody's going to get such high honors. These are the people who defended the colony, and I think when Timo dies, he will be uh, another one allowed to join them in the, in the Tomb of Heroes. And now Lo is pregnant. Happy day. And frighteningly, Wes can walk? Holy crap. Four and four days. You might think that's quite fast, but bear in mind, it's going to be another, another good few episodes before Wes can do anything useful at all besides cry and shit and scream. Perfect for the YouTube comment section. <laughs> you knew where that was going. So we've been slowly working on the temple. Still going to take quite a while. And the Pyramid of Pharaohs and the Pyramid of Heroes are done now. Whether or not we build another pyramid for like the Pyramid of Villains where we lock them up and keep them trapped away. That'd be quite interesting for any of our colonies bad boys. I think the whole supply line is just held up by pristine limestone. Holy shit, you're finally smoothing the marble pillar. Wow, that's been there for ages. We'll etch it afterwards as well. So we have this this rare etched material just out there in the ocean. For the time being, though, fella. Sorry, that's not really the highest priority. We haven't even got a bloody kitchen yet. Those heroes died so that we can build some, you know, actual foundations for this colony. Oh, and I put down some paths, too. Because I thought moving through the desert nonstop probably isn't the, probably isn't the best way to live your life. Let's just get a tiny little eatery set up. So that our people can actually eat indoors and cook food indoors rather than just out on the desert sands. We're civilized now. We're past that. I was about to say I'm quite surprised that nobody has heat stroke given that it's 32 degrees and uh, at 9 p.m. in the middle of a desert. And then I realized, <laughs> jokes on them, it's 34 degrees in my room right now and I've got 74% humidity. So I'm nice and moist. <laughs> this is hell. This is hell. This is hell on earth. Sweet precious Jerry. He suffered a total mental breakdown because his lover Avila died. She's entombed Jerry. Oh, well, to be fair, we didn't have a funeral for her. Maybe, maybe, maybe we should have. Oh, it's too late now. I mean, they're already buried. Uh, sir, I'm afraid the temple is closed for renovations. You can't sleep there, sir. This is a holy building. Ooh, sun festival. Okay, well, the temple needs to be open very soon then, if that's the case. We need just to deck this place out. We're gonna need some nail sheets. We're gonna need some decorations. Timo Lowe beginning their marriage ceremony. Whoa. I didn't even realize that was happening. Oh, I'm really glad you've got the... Two naked babies at the front there. That's really good. And, you know, don't do it in the temple or outside of the pyramid or by the river itself on the great big bridge. Do it in the half-finished kitchen. No, that's perfect. We're weird people. <laughs> You're weird, weird colony with weird people. Wes is now old enough that possible addictions are no longer subdued. Uh, you might think, well, that's probably never relevant because when are you getting alcohol to a baby? We've had series where that's been a real, real problem. They'll make a beeline for the alcohol the second you leave it unattended. What happened to Wes? Wes? Wes is transformed into a simple meal. <laughs> oh! Arrow Wesley Wes King? What's happened? Little Wes? Uh, that's new. Wes, my boy. 
Wes, I'm so sorry. You better, Wes. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! It was all a—it was all another nightmare. Terry, my brother, you gotta stop having that wildebeest cheese before bed. It's giving you horrible dreams. See, they're perfectly fine. In fact, they're, I would argue, better than before. Look at them. I love the fact that their portraits are also smaller as well. Some sort of psychic wave has swept over the landscape. The zebras have been driven mad. We've got like a proper little Nile going on up here. Look at this. Hippos, wildebeest, crocodiles, uh, mad zebras. The problem is our two great warriors aren't exactly on uh, top form anymore, though, are they? Timo. Legendary expert, Timo. We need your help. Get it. Kill it, Timo. Not Bray Tech. Not Bray Tech. Not anymore. Please, 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 please. Have mercy, for God's sake. I'm not sure I can bear any more operations on these damn robots. I think Timo, uh, House, House Struker in general, just deserve a bigger house. There's a big empty gap down here, and they've been uh, vital to this colony's survival. Ah, <laughs> oh, a new baby. And look, little Wes is old enough to have a face now. Do you remember when you became old enough to have a face? <laughs> Oh, he's so pissed. <laughs> he does have Jerry's eyes, though. That's nice. He's like a more angrier version of Jerry. Little baby Valentine. Hello, how are you doing? I mean, oh, you've been given your own double bed. That's nice. Uh, animals vibe double passion. Bizarre. Dislikes children. That's unfortunate. Depressive. It is a hard life. Lo, they've just... Where is Lo? Oh, she's just in the quarry. Just gave birth in the quarry and they just left her there and carried off the baby. Brilliant. On the plus side, the expansion to House Struker is finished. And it couldn't have been any better timing, given that they need the extra space now. Let's move that bed all the way back and give them a separate room. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty happy with the progress we've got going on today. I think those people who laid down their lives for, for this would be proud of us. All it took was gluing a new arm onto Mate and actually making Braytech capable of, of construction as well. And they're off. Like, between the two of them, we're going to be able to build... Everything we've ever needed. So the Pharaoh has decreed it's time for people to stop shitting outside his bedroom window. Particularly now that there actually is a window there that allows ventilation. Uh, so instead we've built a, a dedicated bathroom for the people. Should have already built it on the riverbank. Then again we're getting 90% of our food from the riverbank so maybe not. <laughs> I genuinely think that that crocodile just started attacking Daniels because he, he called him names. I'll tape bail him out. I'm, I know he's been rude. I know he's been on an insulting spree. God damn it, Daniels. Don't scream at the crocodiles. What have we told you? Oh, shit. Daniels, did you get away with that? You got bitten on the torso and the leg. Oh, alcohol addiction withdrawals. Right. Why is Mate unconscious? Uh, hello? You good? <gasps> he's iron arm. <laughs> <laughs> I kid that up ages ago. I completely forgot about it. We just set the build to do until we've got one of of an iron arm in stock. So we've always had one. Or, or more specifically, I guess they've just made one again. Oh, shit. Lo, you absolute legend. And now you're going to give him a bath, too. Don't uh, just polish the armor. Don't look under there. Bloody hell, that's a bit of an intense quest. The rescue of man. So my next task for this colony is to get art unlocked. If we get art, it changes everything. It changes everything. Or, alternatively, clothes. W both. I'll take either. I'll take both. Legionary armor. Oh, it's not really what I was after. We'll take the Devil Strand. Like I was saying, while we're waiting on that one, I think we'll throw up a perimeter wall. I think just getting a wall around this side and then going straight across would be would be quite helpful. And then maybe we'll do the same thing on the other side. Mirror it so it goes up through the desert and then meets into the ocean as well. No way! <laughs> No, it's one year old. Ferry, you can't. Ferry, <laughs> Ferro, Jerry, you can't make that baby work. Let's go limestone castle wall, and let's make the outer layer. In fact, we might as well go right up to the edge of the desert here. Let's make the outer layer out of that one. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's really annoying. That's so annoying, but we haven't got a choice but to but to bulldoze part of the Pyramid of Heroes. If we want to run a path all the way through the middle of the base here, it's off-center with the bridge. So I guess I'll just expand the bridge out. Oh my god, low! <laughs> we need to capture some more female prisoners, because this is very silly. Holy shit, Jerry needs a new wife. Wait, did you finish the research? Oh. 
Well, I guess we've got Devil Strand now. That's good. Ooh, Neolithic desk is cool. We've got children's school and learning, which is how we've got... Oh, look at how happy Wes is. Because he's eating a shitload of coconuts. We've got children's school and learning, but I always found the school part of children's school and learning to be a bit clunky. So instead, we've just got simple learning. Where you put down a desk, you tell them what to learn, and then they... Then they learn. It's that simple. And this really couldn't have come at a more perfect time, given that Wes is seven. Rebecca is six. Uh, that's Rebecca Struker. I just got rid of her last name as a first name, because that's going to get very confusing. And we've got Valentine. So Valentine is, um... <laughs> Where did you get that cat? That's a venerated animal. I mean, we didn't kill it, so it shouldn't cause any problems, but holy shit. Savage by a, a crocodile, I presume? A scorpion. I, I was going to say, I don't think Valentine really needs to go to school. I think Valentine has his life sorted. Power obsessed. <laughs> what? <laughs> Valentine learned about the lifestyles of the rich and powerful early on and decided he wanted to have an experience as well. Is Valentine trying to go for Jerry's job? Oh, Valentine could drive a wedge between House Struker and House and, and House King. That's very confusing. We need uh, Jerry. We gotta sort that last name out, fella. And I think it's fairly safe to say for the time being, the temple is done. I'm hoping it being on roof won't have a problem. I specifically wanted them to leave this bit open so that the sun would shine on the wadget eye, because, I mean, that makes sense, right? It's all about religion worshipping the sun. I thought that was quite a nice little touch. We can't do art or anything for a long time either. We just don't have an art bench right now. But let's at least do something to celebrate. A god's fair. We need to start setting up priests and things like that before we can do a pharaoh's initiation. That's the psychic channeling, at which point we'll just have Jerry and the... Uh, I guess that we'll have four priests, because we've got, what, four gods in the ideal legend? Yeah, I guess we'll have a priest for each of those gods specifically, and then, of course, Jerry the Pharaoh. So we'll keep the the initiation for that one. But a god's fair, everybody can take part in. We've suffered long and hard for this little colonist. Many of our people laid down their lives for this glorious city. Oh, God. <laughs> Wes is still having a bad time. Why is Wes the only one that can't talk properly? He's just shouting his name over and over. He can't seem to respond to conversations very well. He just says, uh, the Wesley King. And a fun God's Fair. Excellent. Now, the God's Fair has a side effect of impressing the the local neighbors that we have. So the Plains folk, we've increased opinion with them. These walls are going to take the rest of time, aren't they? <laughs> these walls are going to take forever. I feel like it's been a long time since I've probably checked in with a few of these people. Jerry King is 48. The man is 48. I don't remember how old he was when we started. I think he's aged, wow, I mean, at least, what, 15 years at this point? Good lord, what a guy. Braytech, I mean, he's a robot, so I presume won't die of old age, or I bloody hope not. 37. Tet Mateus, 37. Troy Horn, 68. I mean, we recruited him when he was quite old anyway, so that's not much of a surprise. Uh, Struker's 41. We've still got a, a relatively young colony, all things considered. Given that these three little kids are going to be dragging the average down a lot. And Lowe is pregnant again, right? Yeah. We need, we need new people. We really do need new recruits as soon as possible. I don't know where I can anger the other <laughs> the other people out there on the planet. Go give them a kick or something. Ask and ye shall receive. Hello there. Oh, all I had to do is complain a little bit. Now, the following words have the potential of being a real gamer moment, okay? You need to bear with me. I'm gonna I'm gonna say we need to aim for the women. I should like Pharaoh Jerry going for, for a little bit of battle. That guy absolutely annihilated those sand prowlers. Oh, Braytech. Braytech, come on. They've all breaching axes. Why? <laughs> Just to smash what little of the wall we've actually built. Jerry, I believe in you. Jerry, I believe in you. Get him. Between Timo and Tech Mate and Jerry, I think we're going to be fine. Oh, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry lost a leg. Are you kidding? Oh, for Christ's sake. I'm not sure we can not send Jerry into fight, to be honest with you. Otherwise, they're going to body us. We're still getting annihilated. Piss off. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just retreat. Leave, please, please leave my base for God's sake. Thank you. Piss off. Go away. You can't bring muskets. Tribal raiders with freaking firearms. I mean, yes, they're only muskets, but that's way more than what we've got. We're using freaking pitchforks. Okay, Jerry needs immediate medical attention. Uh, Lowe's down. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> uh, Mate, you're not going to bleed out on me, are you? No. Uh, patch Jerry up. Horn's bleeding out in four. Okay, so you patch up. Okay, Daniels, you've been recruited. Congratulations, Dr. Daniels. Daniels is incapable of medical. I... I hate you. Oh! Jerry. 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 Sliced in the neck. Sliced in the leg. Come on, Pharaoh Jerry. You've proven... You've proven your bravery. 
You fought along your people. You've, you've done a great job. Everybody's so proud. Don't you die on me. Oh, he's almost okay. He's almost okay. He's almost okay. We need to completely patch the bleeding on Jerry because he's already up to extreme blood loss, though. Bleeding out in seven hours. Okay. How are you looking? Horn's bleeding out in two. Daniel's incapable. Rebecca, get down here. Start patching people up. Everything, everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Jerry's almost as good as new. I use that term very, very loosely. <laughs> you patch up. Ah. Uh, wait, what about... What about Lo? She's fine. Okay, Lo is fine. Wait, she can... What the fuck? She only took some bruises. You piece of shit. Go, go. Save a little bright attack. Jerry's fine. Jerry's okay. Got some more urgent tending that needs doing, but should be okay. Nice sterile room, not just in the sand. Daniel's I'm going to send back down and start swiping up some of these prisoners. Blue. Blue Bustrobigo is bleeding out in three hours. 18-year-old female. No losses in this colony. No losses. I mean, the biggest loss was probably Jerry's jerry's leg right that's a that's a bit of a concern no oh, don't be jerry oh! is it the infection in his other leg oh okay worst case scenario jerry gets two peg legs we give him the mr crabs treatment that was the 10 quality 45 percent. he should be fine I, he should be okay it's very 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 close what a dole a dole on my bridge get out of here Dole revenge? You started it. What do you mean revenge? No. A neck infection for Jerry King. The man, he, he believed, he smelled his own farts. He believed his own bullshit. He thought he was some God-blessed Pharaoh. It went straight to his head and now he's paying the price. Jerry, you were never a God-blessed Pharaoh. Jerry, you, you, you've you believed it too much. Lo, get in there. Attend to your Pharaoh. Maybe we'll give him a wash as well. You may wash the Pharaoh. Please, please. <laughs> Please, watch the pharaoh. 56%. You may have saved the pharaoh's life. Give him a, give him a quick swill. Give him a quick swill. <laughs> Having one colony doctor is actually horrible. The neck infection is fine. Oh, horn. Horn, 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 horn. Uh, that was the one that was tended by a child, to be fair. So I wouldn't expect them to do the best job. Davidson, are you snuggling up to the pharaoh? Ah. Oh. I mean, you've been through some bad times. Maybe he's all right with it. 12% uh, immunity, 8% infection. Okay, so the pharaoh is probably going to live. I'm a little bit concerned about that leg infection because the immunity is not catching the infection spread rate. Horn. Oh, oh, horn. 17% immunity, 23% spread on a torso infection. Oh, horn, oh, my guy. 69 years of age. If you're ever going to die, at least you got to see your 69th birthday. In fact, it was just his 69th birthday. What a time to die. Oh, you look terrible. You've turned a horrible shade of green. Oh, what do you mean you were always a shade of green? That leg is going to have to go. Can be tended in one hour. We need like a 70%, 75% 10 right now to get above that. Just so that we can catch up and stay ahead. Fuck. Oh, no, I don't like that. Okay. Uh, low. It's almost time. We need to see roughly 70% or higher for it to be able to catch up and surpass. Come on. Come on. Come on. 31 that's, that's bullshit. Oh, that was his neck? Was that his neck? No, she's fucked it. She's absolutely bollocks this up. Okay, that leg's got to go, Pharaoh. Want to do it early? I don't think we're going to be able to catch it. I mean, we've got potentially two more tens out of that, but it's going to be too much of a gamble. I would rather try and whip that off now because the chance of the surgery failing is pretty significant. I mean, what's she going to do? Chop off the wrong leg. <laughs> Sorry, Jerry, it's too soon. See? You haven't even got the excuse that it's dark anymore. You stabbed him in the shoulder. Do you even know where a freaking leg is, Lo? You moron. It might explain why we failed the surgery on Tecmate over and over. Get that leg gone. Get it gone. What's she doing? Tending. No, just go straight to the operation. Is it... What have you done? You've just bruised him. I don't give a shit about that. Take the leg off. Oh, this is this is all on Lo now. So if she fails, there may be a public execution. Where's ma maybe a vengeful pharaoh when he finds out that his father's life was in the hands of a lady who... Who really did let him down here. Come on, we've got to tend the neck. We can't... If this fails again... She's done it. Oh, thank fuck. Okay, patch up the hole. Nice. And then patch up his neck. Bloody fast. Tend to Jerry. Oh, 8%. Oh, I should have let her get some medicine. Oh, this is the worst thing I've ever witnessed. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Jerry. Jerry. Hyena hunting Wes. Both pharaohs may die. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Wes, but I'm not sure. Where's the Where's the hyena? Mate, deal with this. Little Jerry. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh. Never a doubt in my mind. Oh Jesus Christ. I never I never thought she'd fail. Fucking hell. Are you dealing with that hyena? Everybody's safe. Everybody's safe. Of course I believe them. Holy shit, maybe he is blessed by the gods and I'm, I'm right back in. Just when I thought I was out, you pulled me right back in. Not my friend. The fuck is going on in the freezer? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure I'm equipped for whatever Blair Witch bullshit that is. And perhaps you too may be as good at Remold as I am one day and gain a single female colonist in exchange for almost five of your people dying. In fact, Horn might still be dying. How's your infection going? Oh. Okay. Um, I mean, that's a, I was going to say, do you want to try and amputate that? But that's a torso. You can't amputate a torso. Not last time I checked. Maybe we have some fun funky ancient Egyptian science. No? Um, well, like I was saying, that's how you grow your colony. You swap the old in for the new. Ah. Well, see you later, Horn. You know, I appreciated you joining us. You, you were a brave warrior. Though you will not be buried in the tomb of heroes. Are you wearing a solid gold set of armor? Jagras, okay, right. What another action-packed day there at the end. We've gone from loss to rebuilding to loss again. In the twilight of this episode, Jerry and his descendant was almost killed back to back. The last time tragedy befell. Befell? Befalled? Last time there was a tragedy in this colony, we bounced back twice as hard. And maybe, maybe tomorrow we'll do that again. Maybe tomorrow it's time we start working on the Pharaoh's residence. A giant temple here. A temple? A house? A mansion here for my little guy, Jerry. Who knows, maybe tomorrow we'll invent art, we'll invent clothing, we'll invent all sorts of little comedic accoutrements that will make this whole thing come together. Pharaoh headgear? Sphinxes? Pyramids? Who knows? I know, they're all in the game. Maybe we'll see them tomorrow. But in the meantime, thank you for joining me on the adventures of Jerry. Join me potentially tomorrow for this mighty empire. Now, and I say potentially because I have a lot of stuff going on in real life. There's news on Discord or whatever if you haven't seen it by now. Thank you, of course, to the mighty patron. Thanks to all the new people who have, who have joined the patron. It's been uh, overwhelming. The sport's been overwhelming. Unfortunately, as I said in the post, it's not a problem I can solve by throwing money at it. But it is... Uh, peace of mind, knowing that if I have to rent out a very expensive hotel to live in, that that is a possibility. I don't want to rent out an expensive hotel because I can, but now I actually can. I can live a life of luxury in a five-star villa, all thanks to you all. God, I wish that was true. Thank you to Adram, Altheon, Maganese, Shadow1317, Wazi, Sergeant Nero, Mr. Moma, Dirty Mike and the Girls, Hawk, Anthony, Fackenthal, Dan Cool, W, Sideshow C, Daniel Edwards, 501, Scaps, Jonathan Cameron, David Geek, and I am Druids. For their support, the executive producer tears over on Patreon. Thank you for making everything moving. Moving good stuff. My entire life. Thank you to Coy, Leech Queen, Moose the Dumb, Carnal Grain, Coffee Fueled Siren Queen, SR13, Blackbird, Maliana, Rosie, Danders a Thing, Consulus, Ashen Soul, Fat X, Flom, The Unwise, Ainsley Fairburn, Roger Pedactyr, Erotha, Frobear, and Piggy Gamer. And if I said your names wrong, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but there are no refunds. Yeah, but I'm sorry. You can send me a message and say like, hey, you said my name wrong, you idiot. Here's how you actually say it. And I'll be like, okay, I'll try and remember that. Thank you. See you all tomorrow. Well, maybe tomorrow, but see you all soon.